Hi everyone, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to install Nexus 9000V into emulated virtual environment. For that first you need to download the Nexus 9000V image from cisco.com site. You need to go to the Nexus 9000V switch image download page. Click here, download the file. It is 1.3 gigabit file. Once you download it, I have already downloaded it. This is a file which I downloaded. We'll go to see the naming conversion for Eve. For that, we need to go to the Eve site, go to documentation, okay, image naming. There you can see then folder structure, how you need to give the folder name for NXOS 9K to work in Eve. You can come down here and I can see the folder name should be NXOS v9k and the hard disk should be sata dot qco2 this is very important this folder name and file name should be matching with this document so first i'll copy this so while, while downloading we have downloaded the QCO2 image so we don't need to do any conversion here I'll create a folder here itself okay. 9k.9.203 this part we can give any name for our identification but the first part till hyphen is very important Then file name should be Santa. We'll rename that as well. Move the file to this folder. Now I'll go to FileZilla. Yeah. This is the file folder which we created now. Now in Eve, we need to go to OPT UNET lab then add-ons okay, move here in this folder you need to paste the file I have already copied this file so I'll be getting an error so I'll show the folder which I already copied I have different NXOS versions so this is a file which we created now once we have copied it we need to change the folder permission for that the command is this same command opt UNET lab wrappers UNL wrapper hyphen A fix permissions we to execute this command yeah once it is completed you can go to the EU topology add a new object object NXOS V9K I have multiple versions of 9K here it takes the list from this folder structure you can see I have multiple 9K returning here so I'll be selecting the version which I installed now 9.2.3 based on the software version I'm supported you need to define the RAM I'm giving 16 GB for CPUs, you can even give 8 GB. You need to refer Cisco's recommendation for the RAM and CPU assignment. I interfaces you can define how many interfaces you need. I click save. 
for communicating nexus to the external network i'll be adding my external network here the cloud the management cloud network and i'll connect this to the management interface we'll start the instance then open the console the device is booting up it might take 5 minutes to boot up i'll pause the video once the device is up i'll come back now device is booted up now it is asking to about auto power on or uh, pop if you don't have pop server you can disable the pop so it is telling yes to continue with normal setup so we'll be selecting the normal setup so i'll give yes here enter so now it is disabling the pop yeah do you want to enforce secure password standard in production you can give yes and enforce the security password so that it will uh, the mandate should be minimum 8 characters so since it is a testing environment i will give no and i will give password admin confirm password also admin and uh, we can do the basic configuration either using the configuration dialog or manually so in this setup we will prefer manual so i'll give no yeah now device is up admin I'll configure a host name NSOS1 and I'll create another username as well. Username admin1 password admin1 role network admin. So it is saying that. the configuration accepted because password strength check is disabled because i have given no for uh, password strength here yeah enforce secure password standard so it has accepted my password now we'll start configuring the interfaces In, so before configuring it we'll verify the config By default, it has management VRF context and management interface is already assigned to that context. So, we will be assigning an IP here interface M0 IP address 92.168.67.200 default. No shutdown. Then we need to go to VRF context management. The command is VRF context management. Here we will be adding a route, IP route, zero default route to 168.67.254. Now we will see the reachability from here. I have reachability. You see the SSH admin one 
Yeah, I need to remove the previous SSH key because I'll, earlier I had stored a SSH key now it has changed yes new key I accepted so admin 1 is my password yeah it logged in copy I need to start up yeah it is working now we'll check the API API is not up for API to work the command is feature nx API yeah now ap is enabled we'll check the connection now yeah ap is up now click on advanced the certificate error Except now it should ask for authentication. We'll try opening it in incognito mode modes. Yeah, it is asking for password. In the another session, it has already stored my previous password. That's why it was not asking. So I'll give the password at pin one. Pin one. Yeah. Now I'll give the command show version. can see the corresponding JSON request Python Python 3 Java Golang all these requests here which you can use in your scripting and even there is multiple methods available here message format you can change to XML or JSON or PC so we'll send the command response came yeah. we got the output in a json format i'll be creating another detailed video on the nx api so that's all about installing nexus os in eu environment i hope this video was helpful to understand install nx os into eu so to stay up to date with my latest videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be creating more videos on latest networking technologies with real time examples thanks for watching see you in the next video